use his defensive scheme to go ahead and get more coverage sacks and frustrate your opponent. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Or, so guys, you know my channel. Make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So, guys, I want to talk about a, um, a defensive scheme that I use initially the first few games, uh, first few weeks that I was playing this game, and then I jumped out of it, started experimenting other things. But I ran into a guy that actually played this, and I struggled against it. And I'm sure that you probably see this online, um, but Maybe you don't know how to run it, uh, but I want to show you this three-play scheme, four-play scheme that you can use to get a lot of stops against your opponent and really frustrate them. So uh, it's out of 34 uh, defense. I'm going to be using the Bears 34 odd, and it's actually you anchoring your defense with with a uh, with a with a coverage, which is the cover four drop show two. Now I'm sure that um, a lot of you people know about this. A lot of my long-time subscribers know about this. You've ran into it. You probably used it. Uh, but I want to go ahead and, sh and get some other players exposed to it if they're not familiar with it. But this is one of the best defensive uh, st uh, defensive um, plays in the game, uh, primarily because you get phenomenal coverage your deep coverage is always going to be there you're going to have four defensive backs deep you've got underneath coverage and then it also this this particular defense has got a built-in blitz scheme that is so easy to set up so what's cool about this defensive scheme is you're going to show your opponent the same look every time and you can mess with the shells and the back inside and make it very very difficult for them so let's go ahead and jump into this and i'll show you how this play works so once again, it's going to be out of the uh, it's going to be out of the 34 odd. Your base play you're going to call out of the huddle is going to be the cover four drop show two, and you're going to spam the hell out of this play. You're going to keep this play um, basically um, uh, the play that you're going to be using a lot, and then you'll jump into different coverages, maybe in third down situations to go ahead and mess him up, especially when you start picking up on his tendencies and and how your opponent makes adjustments. Now uh, another play I want to go ahead and switch out. Uh, one of the base audibles is going to be uh, the cover two man I don't want cover two man cover two man is just not good defense uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to switch it out with cover four quarters now it is another cover four but the difference is cover four quarters plays more like man coverage and it's going to mess up your opponent's reads so when they start getting used to the the the, 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 uh, the defensive players falling back being predictable pretty being predictable you can jump in this cover four quarters and catch them off guard now we can also go ahead and use the cover three coverage and change that out uh, instead of just a standard cover three like a cover three uh, underneath you can all go ahead and use a crossfire what's cool about that that's going to give a guy over the middle right there is going to be a three hook seam uh, from a defensive back so let's just go and jump into this and show you how this play works and i'm gonna run this against the computer with Aaron Rodgers, so he's got a high awareness he's going to make good play decisions and we're going to just use random uh, shotgun passes so basically to set this play up is fairly simple. We're going to base the line by hitting the, uh, the triangle or, or the Y key. We're going to get our guys down in the box. We're going to uh, we're going to show blitz by hitting the triangle or Y key and then flipping the left stick uh, to the left. Then we're going to go ahead and take our defensive line by hitting the left bumper and slanting them up. Now the reason to do this is that if they're in contains, they're not necessarily going to come after the come after the uh, the quarterback. They're going to kind of uh, play the flats and stuff like that, and it's more susceptible to the run. So if you go ahead and crash your defensive line up, they're going to try to get those one on ones against um, the the tackles, and hopefully they'll win those one on ones and get yourself a coverage sack. Now the last adjustment we're going to do is we're going to do a coverage sack by hitting the triangle or Y button and flipping down underneath with the coverage. So now we've got hard flats out there. Now my job is just to play the section of the field that I'm playing. So I've got hard flats. I've got basically verticals. I've got a curl flat off the left, a, curl, a hook curl off to the left. I'm going to play on the right hand side and just play my area of the field. And we want to hover over this over this guy right here because we want to go and do that. So I want to show you on how if your opponent's not prepared for this defense, they're going to have a hard time. So we're going to go ahead and, and show blitz, crash up, and do hard flats. And we're just going to go ahead and force our opponent to go our opponent to go ahead and make some plays. So we're just going to go ahead and play the middle of the field right here and force them to throw balls right over the middle. And we got defenders in the area to smash them. So very easy to set up. It's basically a couple different. It's basically four quick steps. 
and you can see right here, uh, a computer is going to make bad decisions. They might be looking um, at your um, one guy or another guy. So this is a really good defense to go ahead and use against someone who likes to use a lot of crossers. So this is my responsibility. I need to play the middle of the field right here, and I can pick up the crossers right here. I went ahead and took away that read, and I dropped down. Uh, the next area of the field is actually coming down. But this flat guy is right here to go ahead and play that ball too. So the way this, this, this defense is set up, uh, you can see right here, he checks off. He comes down, plays the guy, and then checks down and just falls right back into a pass lane and gets a nice little interception. So where this, this defense becomes really fun is uh, basically using the combination of the blitz um, against your opponent and, and just catching him off guard. So uh, with, with this defense, uh, you've got the fast blitz that you can attack him with. Where this defense becomes really fun is just the way uh, this blitz is set up. You've got this fast pressure that you can go ahead and hit against your opponent. And you want to try to go ahead and give your opponent basically the same type of a look. Uh, so you want to try to base a line and then uh, try to put players in position so that they um, can uh, go ahead and still get the pressure off the edge. So you can see right here. Uh, it, I had to hit that, that read was very hot for the quarterback. He had to go that area or he was going to get sacked. So you can see right here, I'm just going to go ahead and, and read my guy. I'm going to hold this guard a little bit. Pressure's coming off the edge right now. He has to get rid of the ball. Um, and basically, I'm going to go into the area and take away his read. So that's what's great about it is that he's going to force, this, force the, uh, the, the CPU to go ahead and make a fast read. What you can do is you can switch into quarters. Uh, and what this does, it basically goes ahead and it puts your defenders in matching principles. So this is actually going to kind of mess, mess your opponent up a little bit. You've also got a three ruck hook over the middle. So uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and watch the matching principles right here. And this guy, you can see, actually plays the ball a little bit differently. So this is going to mess up your opponent's reads a little bit if you jump into this, these plays. So he shouldn't be expecting this defensive back to back up completely this guy should completely back up and this guy should back up and this guy should back up and he should be playing uh, playing underneath playing flats but if you go and flow uh, play into just a little bit slight of a defense this is gonna mess up his reads a little bit so we got a little rec zone right here uh, right here in this type of situation uh, and then I've got all these matching converging type si situations where these guys are actually playing in these different weird, weird positions so here's your reads right here we got the defense set up I'm gonna go ahead and press these guys down we're gonna pass commit this is gonna go ahead and have a lot of crossing situations where he's gonna mess up his reads initially it's not gonna make sense to him so even though the computer actually got off the right read, look what's going on right here. This guy's supposed to be dropping to the flat. He's supposed to drop the flat, and all of a sudden he comes across the middle of the field for this guy right here in the flat that usually is dead. It's not going to make any sense. This guy is actually falling back in the zones, and I, he's going to be falling into the area. So even though my user was in, uh, was in didn't make a play at the ball, I actually I got past the ball, um, you could see that a lot of these reads that the, which your opponent will be looking for are just not going to make sense. He's not going to see a lot of these different reads. I've got coverage down here, and it just plays a little bit differently. So if you throw this play in a couple times in your scheme, it's really going to mess him up. So uh, outside of the, the man blitz and also that cover four drop, it's very, very difficult to stop this. And you throw in a cover two shell and maybe a cover three shell occasionally, it's really going to catch him off guard. So guys, if you like these type of breakdowns, uh, make sure you smash that like button. I'm going to be rolling out more mad and offensive and defensive tips to go ahead and take your game to the next level. So once again, to, your subscri to my subscribers, thank for your support, and until next time.